Yeah, yeah. I think, uh, so just to clarify the three levels. So one is what you're saying, right? So let's say you are saying you, you made a hurtful comment, right? So that's what I'm hearing. Uh, and so that's, that's one level of listening. I'm only re- reacting to uh, or, or picking up only what you are saying. The other is I am empathetically listening and, and understanding, you know, you made a hurtful comment. Where is it coming from? Oh, you must be feeling frustrated about that issue or, or maybe you're feeling let down. Or, you know, so now I'm being really empathetic and trying to engage in, in my mind on the feelings that you are experiencing, which are leading you to say what you're saying, right? So that's the next level. The final level, which is pretty hard, uh, but uh, quite powerful, is understanding what's going on within me. So when you made a hurtful comment and now I'm saying, oh, you know, maybe you got hurt about something, maybe I let you down in some way or something, something. What's what's going on within me? Maybe I'm feeling uh, frustrated, maybe I'm feeling angry, or maybe I'm feeling regretful, and so on. And, and connecting with all these levels is so important because that raises the quality of the conversation. Firstly, it, it is going to alter my response, right? If I reacted to what you are, you say something hurtful, I react to it. We know where that conversation is going to go. Hmm. If I, if I'm a little more empathetic and I understand where it's coming from, I will respond in a little better manner, right? Hopefully I'm kind of appreciative of where you are, what's happening, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm still not mindful of my own limitations here, which is that when somebody says something that seems uh, sensitive, I very easily get into a very permissive mode because I like being kind to people. Hmm. Right? So again, the communication and the interaction is not going to be most transformational or most effective because, okay, I picked up your sort of emotional cues, but my own emotional flaws or my own emotional triggers are still at play. So if I can become aware that, hey, I am, uh, I, 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 I know I'm getting drawn into this emotional drama because that's my tendency. If I'm just aware of that, maybe I'll respond differently. And hence, we will move forward on that conversation in a very calm, assertive, authentic, meaningful way, and it'll become a transformational conversation. So, so that's kind of the three levels of uh, three layers of, of listening that I have noticed. And, uh, and again, in my coaching work, of course, this is so crucial because not only do I need to connect with my clients on what's happening with them, but also what's happening inside me. Because again, in a, in a holistic way, Deepak, what is this conversation? What's the, what's the purpose of that converse, on any conversation? Part of it is to you know, move forward on what somebody else needs, et cetera, et cetera. But part of it is our own growth collectively. As mm. as you said, you know, from the podcast, you grow because you pick up some new nuggets or whatever. But as much as I am giving this sort of interview or whatever, I am learning. I am growing myself because, oh, but only if I'm attuned to what's happening inside me, right? That's my journey of self-growth, which is happening in any process, in any conversation. So again, going back to your question of how does one do it? I think it goes back to, you know, it might sound like a, a broken record, uh, Deepak, but it has to begin with deepening that self-awareness and, and doing it through creating that reflective practice hmm. where we become more attuned to what's happening inside us at all times. 